In today's story, I'm going to tell you about Robin Bone, a talented Canadian pole vaulter who is known for her exceptional athletic skills and accomplishments. And also you will find out for what reason she always performs in a helmet and how she lives now. Robin Bone was born on February 13, 1994 in London, Ontario, Canada. As a child, Bone was an active and energetic child with a strong passion for sports. In her early years, Robin tried her hand at various sports, lacrosse, softball, soccer. But her main passion was gymnastics, which Robin began to practice at the age of five. It was gymnastics that helped Robin develop her agility and strength. And her dedication and natural abilities allowed her to quickly progress on the gymnastic platforms. However, after another, already fifth, concussion, which is a lot even for an adult, not to mention a 16-year-old girl, the doctors insisted that Robin leave her favorite gymnastics ahead of schedule since another concussion could be fatal for her health. I just fell into the void. I lost myself as a person. Gymnastics was my whole life. I had nothing to do. I didn't have a goal, Robin recalls. Realizing that health is more important, Robin decided to find another sport that would attract her attention and use all her athletic abilities. She was involved in steeplechase, sprinting, and a number of other athletics disciplines. In some, she even succeeded, but this did not give her the sports passion that gymnastics gave. This continued until, in her sophomore year, her high school track and field coach noticed Robin's confusion. He approached her and said, you know, Robin, it was not gymnastics that made you who you are. As an athlete, you are strong enough and purposeful, and from now on, you will be our pole vaulter. Robin tried it, and she really liked it. The former gymnast was content with the fact that the sport included vaulting and, moreover, it was fun. It remains only to persuade the parents. For the first time, they saw excitement in my eyes from the moment they told me that I could no longer do gymnastics, Bone later said. And they could not refuse her, but still decided to consult doctors. And the doctors were against it. This sport is quite safe and the only condition was to wear a special helmet. This did not give complete protection from a new concussion, but it was calmer. Under the guidance of experienced coaches, Bone quickly developed a passion for pole vaulting, devoting countless hours to perfecting her skills. It's hard to go from what you're good at to something new where you literally end up last every time. Despite the initial problems associated with the development of this sports discipline, Bone's determination and hard work propelled her forward. She soon began to reach impressive heights and set new personal records despite the fact that her helmet became the subject of ridicule for her. In high school, I knew people were talking about it, but I didn't care. My dad was a football coach and I always went to practice with him, so wearing a helmet didn't seem embarrassing. It never seemed stupid to me. When I went to my first track and field competition, I also heard whispers behind me. One day, while standing in line at a diner, I heard other athletes laughing at something. When I listened to them, I realized that they were laughing at me about a girl who jumps in a helmet. I wasn't wearing a helmet at the time, and of course they didn't recognize me. But it really motivated me. I decided that I would show them what the girl in the helmet is worth and make them remember the name Robin Bone forever, she said later in her interviews. However, Bone's path to success was not without obstacles. In 2013, during her undergraduate career at the University of Western Ontario, she suffered a major setback when she sustained a severe ankle injury. The injury forced her to take a break from pole vaulting and undergo a lengthy rehabilitation process. Despite the setback, Bone remained resilient and determined to return to the sport she loved. With the support of her coaches, medical professionals, and her own unwavering dedication, she successfully recovered from her injury and made a triumphant return to pole vaulting. Her return to competition demonstrated her perseverance and fortitude. Robin's performances since her injury have shown her resilience as she not only regained her previous achievements but surpassed them. 
Her indoor personal best was 4.36 meters, 14 feet 4 inches, and outdoor 4.31 meters, 14 feet 1.5 inches. And while Robin doesn't brag about the sport's greatest accomplishments, her remarkable story is an inspiration to many, further cementing her status as a role model in the world of athletics. With her incredible talent, unwavering determination, and remarkable ability to overcome adversity, Robin Bohm continues to inspire aspiring athletes around the world. Her journey from childhood passion for sports to world-class pole vaulting is a testament to the power of passion, perseverance, and pursuit of her dreams. Do not forget to write comments, put likes, and subscribe to the channel. They talk about sports here.